Hello and welcome back to the channel Corden at Home. I'm Matthew Lonsdale and I show you how to do things in the Unreal Engine. So today I'm going to show you um, what I've got set up. So I've retargeted an animation from the mocap as, uh, asset set from the Unreal Marketplace and um, I've set up a sequence and I've used the live link and I've added the animation to the track. So instead of um, this old track, which looks like this, if I minimize the sequence set and hit play, you can see I'm moving my mouth, but that's what the, the basic animation does. So stand there talking, yes, the arms are moving, the head turns, but there's no facial expressions. So. We're going to use the sequencer, add the live link. Yep, and we're all good to go now. So now if we hit play, you can see it looks a lot better and it looks like they're actually having a conversation. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. I'm going to open a new project and we'll go from there. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, so we're in the editor, new project. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to add the mocap uh, assets into this project. So in the Epix uh, Marketplace, if that opens up, there you go. Just type in mocap, hit enter, and now they've got a massive variety of stuff. Um, but if you just hit free on the price, you'll be able to find their basic pack which is actually still quite good when it's free. So download that in your library. Come down uh, at projects, number four. Just take a sec and done. Okay, now we've got that in our content folder. So let's open that up. Let's hit the character, the mesh skeleton. Got a few little changes to make. Now I'll just move my camera over. Um, there you go. Okay, so probably look like this. You want to hit retarget manager, and it should it'll be a humanoid because that big use a humanoid, uh, humanoid rig, and their name and conventions all the same. So this is really straightforward. So just click show advanced. Come down here, and just see all the IKs. Just remove them. Because they will cause you problems okay so remove them and hit save okay and close out of here now if you're in the screen just hit file new level default map hit, uh, get rid of the player store sphere capture this is the uh, Sky light, just set that to movable, and this is the direct light, set that to movable. And you want to go in your place actors, type meta, drag in one of the humans, like so. Now, if you hit Control E on your keyboard or edit blueprint, you've always fine. This will bring you up the blueprint graph, hit body. Now, come over to your details panel mesh skeleton mesh now if you actually dock this on your home browser then hit the search magnifying glass it'll send you straight to the file location of that skeleton mesh let's double click that and open the skeleton for this okay so this is what it looked like open the retar retarget manager on this one as well we're going to set up a rig, select rig, select humanoid rig, and set modify pose, set use current pose. Um, is that everything in here? Just double check in. Uh, yep, IKEA's are gone, humanoid rig. That should be fine. Show hide, yeah, view, that's fine. Okay, so we can now save. 
um, we'll hit a save all. This is asking me to save the new level. We'll type my level. Hit enter. Save on the build data. And now, if we open up the skeleton, go to skeleton tree and options, show retargeting options. Okay. We're going to change all of these to skeleton because these are bones. Okay, so hit the root and come down to bone translation retargeting skeleton. Okay, that should change everything. Double check, yes. Hit save and let's just go back and double check mesh. Uh, UB4 skeleton and just double check these are all bones well the first two are animation we'll do the same here just scroll all the way down make sure they're all skeleton hit save and this skeleton save now they should be identical okay so now they can share animations so if you preview the, uh, the convo low key, that's how it looks in that skeleton. In this skeleton, you should be able to now preview. Oh, sorry. Let's duplicate it for that skeleton. So, in the more motion capture asset pack, animations, conversations, root motion, this one here, retarget anim set, duplicate. And the the retargeting after you've done that, this will pop up now. So you can now hit retarget to that skeleton. Hit save. Okay. Now let's come back in here and preview that as an asset. Hide pose, sorry. View pose will still click. So you can see now that's how that's going to look. Okay. So you can save out of that. You can close the skeletons. Close the smash. Leave these ones open. Hit a save all. Always save all the time. Come over to the uh, BP for the metahuman. Now in animation, let's just drop that in there test compile save and we'll test everything's working so now if we're at my level you can see slow my camera down you can see everything looks good the arms are a little bit inside so I'll show you a quick way to fix that if you're in here and again little magnifying glass it'll take you to where that is in your content browser you can double click I'm gonna move my camera out the way I'm going to hit pause, this little number, zero, so it'll snap the timeline to zero. I'm going to get the bone that I want to change. And to make things easier, if you go character, bones, all hi uh, uh, hierarchy, you can then see what you want to do. So, let's see, where's a good angle to look this from? Okay, so it's the upper arm, which is like the shoulder. What would I want to do? I want to bring that a little bit this way. Okay, maybe two clicks. And I want to key and apply. And then I will find, give that a second, that I will find the, that was L for left. Come through, find the upper arm, R. And let's rotate that one. I mean, hell, we can turn that one all the way up if we want to like that and we will key and apply okay save and close see our level and hit play and you see they have moved now the hands have moved but the top hasn't don't worry about that that's just because this 
BP metahuman is made up of lots of skeletons put together. But don't worry, if you hit play, everything will work fine. Okay, now, as you can see, this is that basic animation. Let's get my settings. I'm just going to change that. They're on medium, that's good. So you can see, if I hit play, I've retargeted the mesh now. That's working fine. I know it's snapping in and out of LOD there. That's just because I'm at a strange range. If I zoom in a little bit, you should get LOD 1. Okay, but you can see that's animated. Now, what you want to do is link the face cam, which is what we've been uh, using for the last couple of days. So if we hit exit out of there and clear that, the easiest way to get this set up is just go cinematics, add a, se a, a level sequence, just hit save. You can name it whatever you want, but just hit save into the content browser. That'll bring up the sequencer. If it doesn't, you can always um, go Windows Cinematics and show the sequencer that way. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is click the actor, add or plus track, add act, what, see, act, act at a sequence. Right? We don't want the face linked up and the metahuman body i'll i've i was thinking about doing a tutorial on making this run but maybe tomorrow but for now as you can see i've set the sequence up it's automatically started picking up my the mouth movement on me okay let's just delete that out so now if we click body and add track you can add an animation and a convo low key loop is the one we did okay so now if you hit play in the sequencer you can see the mouse moving and it's playing the animation if you want you can if i hit loop hit play again so you can see it's looping and picking up the animation of my mouth I know it's chopping at the start, it's probably not at the right loop point. If you wanted that to loop perfectly, let's uh, hit pause, jump into the BP blueprint, find the animation combo. If you just hover over that, you can see the sequence length there. The sequence length, it's under, so you've got resource, uh, retarget sources, non frame rate, sequence length, that's 29.366667. Okay, so you might as well say 29.7 so if you now opened up the level and your sequencer sorry I move my camera back over here now sequencer and let's just bring this full screen so we want this is frames so if you hit uh, this little drop down you can show this time in seconds so if now we want just drag over, keep going, keep going, all the way to 30. There is a quicker way to do this, but I'm just trying to show. And you can see the end of the animation there anyway. So you can set that up like that. And now you can come back to the start. And my camera's always in the way minimize this down we can stick this down here now if that's better for you and hit play so from this range see my mouth talking and I'm playing animation and that is how you set that up now you can do a lot of things with this you can um, add a, a cinema kind of a camera and set up a scene and have a talking and all that good stuff all right well i hope you enjoyed the video and it's been helpful if it has please leave a like if you want to know any more information about the meta human or maybe the animation rig leave a comment and if you don't want to miss any more of my videos then please subscribe if you want extra help and tutoring then please join my patreon i'll leave a link in the description and you can contact me that way all right well thank you for watching see you in the next